Good morning from Chiang Mai. Today we are gonna get a tattoo. So, we are on the way now to get my morning coffee. You know how much I love coffee? We're gonna go to a new place. We walked past this the other night and it was never open the whole time we've been here. And now it's open, so I'm gonna try it out. I did go to a new place the other day. I didn't film it, I didn't vlog it, but it was down that way and it was 50 baht of coffee and it was really good coffee. So I'm really tempted to go back there today, but I'm gonna go to the next new place for you and show you what it's like. Let's have a look. Okay, I don't have that much trust in this bag. I'm very scared. So that was 140 baht for two iced lattes, so about 70 baht each, which is like pretty normal for Niman. I see like the going rate's probably like 60 to 70. Expensive is probably 80 to 90, and cheap's probably 40 to 50. So I just got back from getting breakfast. We're gonna eat our croissant and drink our coffee. And then I'm gonna get stuck into some work. We've got the gym today, hopefully. Seeing how Michael goes, he had dentist work done on his um, teeth yesterday, so he's a little bit sore. And then we possibly have a tattoo tonight. Really good. I like it. Okay, so we came and we got to go gym. Um, it looks really cool. I like it. Let's go inside and I'll sh quickly show you around. If you're curious about gyms in Thailand, let me show you. Okay, it's basically impossible for me to film in there because of like the music playing and the copyright and whatnot, but it was a really good gym. We ended up ooh, signing up for a month um, they had a good promotion where you like pulled out something from the box and you got like a promo for something that was in there. I got five free days free, except we're leaving before that, so I don't get the five days free. <laughs> we should have come earlier, then I would be able to use my five days free. But now we're um, heading back and we're going to go get some Burmese food for lunch. So, But we're going to head back on the bike now and I'll see you there in a little bit. Okay, so we're here. We're going to have some Burmese food. We've been trying to go here, honestly, probably three times a week for ages but we always come in dinner time and they're not like ever open so now we're gonna have some lunch here and then I do see some Milo ice just there in a stand so I'll probably have that after <laughs> thank you so thank you so we have a Burmese menu and a Thai menu we're gonna try the Burmese okay so I think I'm gonna get the yellow chicken curry but ask for like no spice and maybe some rice as well and try that special Burmese rice and then we'll share that what do you give it? I have the yellow curry chicken my pet no spice please let's have a look at the drinks in the fridge is that no sugar? that's okay <laughs> my pen right I'm not sure we got shan rice mixed with tomatoes um, and then I'm gonna mix like my yellow curry chicken in there and ask for it to be not spicy enough so you know I don't like spice and Michael got a pork curry with potatoes good I'm excited for food okay. yeah. thank you so you have the chicken the pork and the shan rice now we're gonna try it what's that flavor tomato garlic or something the sausage you're putting it all is the best flavor that I've had in time. It's really good, it's just a bit spicy. So it's really nice. Meat has obviously been stewing like they, yeah, it's really good. I don't know how much things are because there's no prices on the menu. Not sure how much yet, but we'll tell you in a second. But the meat is like falling off the bone. This rice is like filled with spices and like flavor. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a Milo ice and now I'm gonna head to the tattoo shop. Let's go. Oh, Kukuka. How much? 25. 25. Kukuka. He had the condensed milk like stewing on a, like a warm pie or something. He made it like really differently and then he added the milk first and then it looks really good. Alright, I'm gonna try this one. Oh, that's nice. 
that's probably the most Milo-ish like tasting one that I've had. Oh, it's good. The good Milo girl. Yeah, Milo. Yeah, someone called me Milo girl. I was like, I'm cool with that. Don't drink it all. Whoa. <laughs> it's good. That's the best one yet. Yeah, it's so good. 25 baht. How much was lunch? Half sip. Huh? No, half sip half. Half sip half? 155. 155. So 155 baht. Anyway, let's go to the tattoo shop. Help them come. Totally forgot whether we discussed tattoos for, for you. Oh, I've been so busy, I haven't decided right, yet. So, so, no. We're here at the uh, tattoo shop, Celebrity Inc. in Chiang Mai. Michael's just getting his tattoo. He's getting one on the inside of his like, bicep area. So, he's just in there getting it done now. Maybe four hours. So, I'm just going to get some editing done out here. Still light outside, it looks really nice. Um, and then we're going to go to the night market down the road. So, when he's done with his tattoo, we're just going to pop over there for some dinner. Okay, so he's done, and that actually took a lot quicker than I thought it would. I thought that while I was here, I was kind of telling you through the process of getting a tattoo in Thailand. It's much the same as getting one at home. I only have like a couple of little ones everywhere. But in case you're wondering about how to get a tattoo here, well, at least for this one, with there's a manager, and he speaks his English, or well, not English, but I speak English as a first language, I'm pretty sure. So he like obviously liaised with us and saw our design and everything. Then he found the best artist that they have suited for what style Michael wanted. He wanted like an old school panther, um, obviously not every tattoo artist is good or does old school. He just put a deposit down, same as home. So we'd actually come in last week and then when we came in last week, Michael got another tattoo and then he also discussed the, the design that he wanted for this one. So we'd come in before he'd had that done and then yeah. The work is incredible. It, the artists are just as good, if not even better than in Australia. But it is also a little bit, little bit more affordable. So that's it. We're gonna head off to get some street food from a night market now. So we came here the other week, and there is a whole big market down that way. But there's Michael, a one up there's here. a better one up here apparently. But last time we were here the other week, it was closed. It wasn't so open yet. It wasn't open yet. Like, we're, but things have been opening slowly as we've been here for a bit. But we'll see. And then if not, we'll just walk back up to the one that's up there. So we're here at the market that we were going to go to if it was open, but it's still closed and it looks so sad. You can tell that this was a really cool place to get food, but it's all just dead. Like, look at this. All closed. Literally none of it's open. Like, and on this side too, like all the way over here. So now we're going to walk back to that first place that had the um, night market where we ate the other time, but we didn't film it. So we're just going to show you what we have there and eat there instead. But yeah, there's all those uh, markets through on the side of the roads too, um, which are still open that you just saw, but. Okay, I have an apology to make. <laughs> We started eating and then my camera ran out of battery. I storied it, so go check out my Instagram if you haven't already. Here's my Instagram here. Follow me on that one if you like as well. Now, to make it up to you. Yeah, I've already been here before, but anyway, we're going to the best roti in Chiang Mai, apparently. So It's pretty popular anyway. Very popular, and it's open till midnight, and it's always packed when we go past it. So let's go have a look. I'm gonna eat roti for you. All right, let's go. Okay. Yeah, they have ice Milo, guys. Crassus averted. We're good to have ice Milo. So they have heaps of different kinds of roti here. They have like savory roti with like cheese, sausage, fried egg, omelette, omelette, <laughs> omelette with ham and cheese. All different kinds of savory roti, but my favorite is the sweet roti. I do love the banana roti with Milo, so I think we're just gonna have that one. <laughs> oh, that's good. I love ice Milo. Oh, thank you. Banana and Milo. We've got sweetened condensed milk on the inside, and then it's got like Milo and stuff on the top on the outside, and banana on the inside too. Ready? Okay, I think I just burnt my taste buds off. It's really good. It's just really hot. My mouth is burning. This one has a little bit less sweetened condensed milk than I remember, but it's really nice. So I just said that they don't have enough sweetened condensed milk as normal. Look what was on the table. <laughs> sweetened condensed milk. So you can just add it if there's... <laughs>
So if you like this video of me trying Thai desserts, make sure you check out my Sunday night walking market video. I'll leave that up here for you somewhere on the screen. Make sure you check that one out because I tried the best crepe that I've had in Thailand so far. So go check that video out. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and it helps me keep making videos for you and showing you what I eat in Thailand. So make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one. Bye. Bye vlog.